Welcome back, everyone, to the Town Hall 14, where we're in Eden's Edge and we're in CW Day 6. But before we get into CW Day 6, we will be doing some upgrades. We currently got a builder. I used like probably six or so builder potions, and I brought a couple more gems from the trader. I normally don't buy them with gems, but I decided they were there and why not. But let us get into some upgrades. I'm really going to have to be doing walls, not gonna lie. Yeah, this is this is this is the struggle right now. This is the struggle. We're gonna have to be doing walls. We can basically only do four walls with like a full storage as well. So that's how the life has been going. We got another full um storage. I use a wall. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. But hey, it is a wall upgrade anyways. I hate sometimes when I do that on accident. But hey, we're gonna work from there. Um I got some more loot in the treasury. Mm, I collect it. What's going on? Um, I do want to hopefully do like another trap, I guess, because we're still working on traps. Because I want to keep them going, um, as well. Um, but we will see how things go. I'll probably keep doing walls for the meantime because this hole is gonna have to go for a while before I, I get in the nether building two days or so, and we can do another trap. But now let us get into. We got a million mail there, so that's nice. Uh, but let's get into our war tactics. Syllable is war day 6 and this is the base that we'll be hitting. And I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to do something different that you guys have probably haven't seen at 14 v 14 maybe in a while. Because it isn't really like a meta attack I guess if you want to call it that. Which is going to be Electron Lalo. Yeah Electron itself isn't really a meta army to, to be fair. Um, what we're going to be doing here, we're going to be doing it different because you can see a sweeper pointing this side, a sweeper pointing to the multis. And I'm going to be a little risky, if you want to say. So with this here, you can see double multi. I want to literally land my blimp here. But we think of a peacekeeper there is a sweeper. I will be freezing the sweeper on entry. So I'll run my blimp over here and I want to fly it like literally over. So I'll probably fly it over the gold storage with a couple of balloons to look for traps. And then I want to fly the blimp into here. When the battle blimp gets past this with the tower, I will freeze, double clone, and rage. I basically just want to get everything in the middle, especially both of the double the multis. That is my plan. My plan is to get both multis. And then I will use my run my king and queen over here because my queen can reach the town hall. I want to run the queen to get this. If if she can't get it really, I can just run the wall breakers to give her an idea that you have to go into the middle, get the town hall, and then while the king and queen are working around here. I'll start my lava in front here or down here, depending on what I get with my electron and what my heroes can get as well. With the electron lalo, you sometimes don't always run a poison, but I'm gonna run a poison instead of like four freezes sometimes. But run the poison for whoever CC comes out as well. This one is more of like a wrist based base attack, I wanna say. Um, but you don't normally see this attack 14 14. You will see 11 11. So you wouldn't you wouldn't see Electron at Town 14. So it's a little bit of a something I want to go outside the box, I guess. Because I have used this attack strategy a lot. I like this attack strategy. Um, but I want to just show that it could or may you not know, work at Town 14. But let's see. With that said and done, you guys see the base, you see the army. I was gonna do mm, I have two ice columns. Do I need two ice columns? I'm thinking. I'm I'm a I'm gonna drop another ice column. Uh, uh before but before we do our attack, let me let me drop an ice column I wanna say. But yeah, normally in my other army I run two ice columns. Um but for this one I, I'll run I'll run one. But with that said and done, you guys see the base see the army. And like we always wanna do let's crush it. So like I said, something a little bit outside the box if you guys are comfortable with this these style attacks, these riskier riskier style attacks. You could you could give it a try and, and practice it because it's something that you need to practice. I missed my my thing as well, but hey, we're still gonna get we're still gonna work our way in. Even though the sweeper we did freeze, I probably should hit yeah, with my freeze, but we got the value that we wanted. We literally got the value that we wanted. Not gonna lie, we got our value. I'm gonna run my heroes differently than I was planning to because I want to use them as cleanup if if that makes sense so i want to use them a little bit as as cleanup as well so i want to run them down on a row so i'm going to poison there because they're going to be a couple skeletons 
and what's not in there. So I wanted to basically take out the skeletons and help my troops clean up. They help my heroes work there around. Now, oh, and what I dropped a balloon. <laughs> I dropped a balloon and the big dragon still died. I'm gonna drop a wall break there to break in. Drop an ice column. I know for sure there were gonna be a uh, some traps around here. It wasn't not something that I said I wasn't expecting at all. I'm going to now draw my RC as well if the RC can help out. Because there are a ton of skeletons. A ton of skeletons is something that you're not gonna you always should expect, I guess. I got three freezes and I think I'm gonna save um I'm gonna save them and we're gonna work from there. So I'm gonna let the queen work through and I'm gonna pop the RC's ability so the RC can get through there. King is on a thing, and I probably should have dropped the head hunter 50 years ago, but I guess it's gonna have to be okay. And I wanna see if I can protect my RC. It probably won't work out. Yeah, it won't work out. I guess it's okay. it's gonna be okay. But I, I can protect my queen though. I can protect my queen a little bit here. I'm going to freeze there on entry, and then I'm gonna haste in. I got four loons left. Um, I'm gonna drop two there and two on up there as well. I'm going to drop in there. I got two head hunters that I should have used a while ago. I'm going to warden's ability, but I think we got it. We got it. Yeah, we got it. We got it. Easy collapse. We got it. Next to the electron hero portion was definitely the the part where it was a little bit harder, um, especially because we had to do we had to face like, so many skeletons, but. You got it, Electron Lala turn 14. It, it can happen, it can happen. You can see here, it can happen. And we're gonna end off with a quick little Electron Lala triple at 14. So there's the arm here for you guys, 29 loons. You can run two ice columns or, or one. I prefer one sometimes. Two Swole Breakers, Baby Dragon, one ice column. Wizard, three head hunters, two of the hounds, six minions for cleanup, as well as the single goblin, two archers, double clone, freeze, poison, and a two, in, a two haste spells. Rage and Freeze and CC with the Electron, which is three balloons and an e drag. Sometimes you can also run one clone, depending on if you're not going to get much value. I like to run the two because I saw there were two multis that I wanted to get out the way um, as well, because I basically would have had to use two freezes and then a haste to get through them. So I decided why not e clone them out, but we got it. That's it for me. If you guys didn't enjoy it, something a little bit outside of the box, I guess, um, that you guys probably haven't seen yet, I want to say. And if you want to practice it, that's a good way to pass it. But that's me. I'll see you guys next time.